Ironically, the most convincing evidence of a UFO may be photographs from nearly 50 years ago, a time when computers that could alter or create images were merely a fantasy. These two shots, taken in 1951, are the most widely disputed, but never disproven photographic evidence of a UFO. The photographs, of course, obviously have all kinds of implications, that if these photographs are real, then UFOs must be real. For a conclusive analysis of these remarkable photos, we obtained the original negatives and brought them to the Brooks Institute of Photography in Santa Barbara renowned for its definitive study of the Shroud of Turin. By using the most sophisticated computer software available on the original negatives, they were able to literally take these photos apart, piece by piece. I can come in on it and see if there's any mismatch in the grain pattern, the grain structure, anything that's an obvious tip-off as to this being a fake or some sort of darkroom trickery. The photos were taken by Paul and Evelyn Trent, a young farming couple from McMinnville, Oregon. Could they have pulled off such a convincing fraud? The Trents were not the sort of people that you would leap to the conclusion they were hoaxers. They had no interest in UFOs. They weren't imaginative people. They were farm people. To skeptics like Philip Class, the Trent photos would be easy to fake and are easy to explain. The photograph almost certainly shows something like a hubcap suspended from electric wires that connected the house and their garage. But the experts saw no evidence of this anywhere in the photographs. Well, there's no sign, no hint of anything suspending the object, a thread, a wire. I just don't see any threads or any wires there. If it wasn't a hubcap suspended by wires, was it simply a model thrown in the air? Not according to the analysis. In fact, the UFO itself offered the most convincing evidence. I think if it were an item very close to the camera, it would have a much darker underneath on that one photograph. Uh, there'd probably be more evidence of uh, some sort of texture, surface detail, when in fact there is not. So for that reason, I'm convinced that it is a distance away from the camera. How much of a distance? According to the Brooks Institute, it's likely that this object was thousands of feet from the camera. That calculation would make the UFO hundreds of feet in diameter. Putting the theory of a hoax further in doubt is the fact that the Trents never profited from taking these pictures. Even so, Philip Class is not convinced. Why would they do this? To achieve fame? to see if they could fool the experts. If this was, in fact, what the Trents were after, if they actually did fake these famous photos, then they somehow did a better job 50 years ago than the sophisticated computers of today. As it stands, these two famous photographs cannot be debunked by the experts, and they remain unexplained. <laughs>